Hi there stampers. Thanks for joining us today. Today we are going to make this really beautiful card. It's created with these Stampin' Up! Scallop Square clear die for the big shot and some polished stone background technique. Let's get started. I took some real red cardstock and I have cut it four and a half inches this way by eleven inches this way. You could use twelve by twelve to get more than one out of a sheet or eight and a half by eleven will get you one with some extras. So I've just folded our four and a half by eleven piece of real red cardstock in half and now I'm going to use the clear scallop square die for the Big Shot machine. This is one project where having some of Stampin' Up's grid paper is very handy. I'm going to start with a cutting plate and then I'm going to take this and just layer it right on top. And it's going to be lined up with this edge right here. I'm going to take our card panel, line it up with the edge of the scalloped square die, making sure that it's in the middle. I want to make sure that I don't see any scalloped edge hanging out of the die. Once this is lined up, this is the most important part, your top cutting pad should line up straight with the die at the one and a quarter inch mark of your grid paper, which is right there. And then we'll take our sandwich and run it through the Big Shot machine just like this. Put that right into the Big Shot, making sure that our die is still lined up straight. Turn the handle. And when we're done, we have our sandwich back. You'll see, very, very cool. Our, our card will open, but yet it's not cut off in a square, thanks to the cutting pad. So then uh, you could either use a paper cutter or I just like to use the craft scissors because they cut such a beautiful, nice straight line easily. This is some of Stampin' Up's Merry Moments designer paper, and I'm just gonna cut a three-quarter inch strip to use as our binding. I'm going to just take a little snail to adhere that right onto the binding panel here. Okay, for the next step, I want our card to just open up for the scallop square. I'm using the paper cutter, but I'm going to use this black blade on it, which is actually the scoring blade as opposed to the orange one, which is the cutting blade. So what I'm going to do is put our card in. See, it has the measurements down here at the bottom. I'm going to go to one and a quarter and I'm going to run the black blade right over it which gives us a score line nice crisp fold there and I'll do the same on the back so that our card now has this opening and I'm going to put a little snail in the center part just a little snail for that and then for the edges I am going to use the crocodile and some eyelets Fortunately, the crocodile comes with a cheat sheet, and I use it faithfully. This is C. This is three. First, we're going to punch. We're going to punch our little hole using the eighth-inch hole punch on the side here. If you can see, that's just going to punch right through there, leaving us a little hole. Try to hold it up so you can see that. Punches our holes, and then I'll pop the gold eyelet right into the hole. We'll plug that right in there like you're plugging, it, plugging an outlet in and just squeeze. And when we're done, it's set our eyelet. So we'll do that on the other side as well. I'm going to use some of Stampin' Up's gold cord ribbon for our binding. So I'm just going to run this through the back. I'll run this around our card twice and then tie it in the front. So we'll put it through once. Great thing about working on the spool here is that I only take what I need. So I'll just cut that right off, tie this in a knot, trim up any extras, and voila, we have our book binding. All right, next we're going to move on to some cool polished stone background technique using cotton balls, rubbing alcohol, and some ink pad refills. I'm using Garden Green Real Red and our gold, metallic gold. This technique can get a little messy, so um, if you don't like mess, you might want to wear rubber gloves. I'm going to wet our cotton ball with the rubbing alcohol. 
and we're going to put a dab of the red, a couple dabs of the red classic ink on the cotton ball. And on the other side, just one dab of the garden green. And lastly, quite a bit of the gold. I am using some glossy white cardstock. It's, Im it's important that you use Stampin' Up's glossy cardstock with this. So I'm just dabbing the ink around and then going back and swirling it. I'll hold that right up. So you can see the sheen from the gold. Very cool. You could use a heat tool to speed the drying along on this if you'd like or you could let it sit to dry. Once your panel is totally dry, we're going to stamp over this card using the Season of Joy stamp set from Stampin' Up! and just some of the accents in it. And I'll use some chocolate chip classic ink. Just kind of randomly stamping. Don't forget to go off the edge when you're stamping. Next, I'm going to use the Warm Words set, the Be Merry stamp from it. I'll stamp that right on the chocolate chip as well and right on a piece of very vanilla. And I'll take the Modern Label Punch upside down and just slide that very vanilla in there till the Be Merry's lined up perfectly and punch that panel right out. Okay, now I'm going to show you a little trick to save paper. For those of you who are into saving paper, I am going to stamp a piece of brown scallop oval for our Be Merry. And I'm actually going to use the middle of the chocolate chip panel that we'll be layering on for the card. Because no one's going to see that when it's hidden in the back, right? So these two pieces will layer like this. Now I have one more layer for this card and one more trick to show you. The Stampin' Up! Curly Label Bigs XL die is made to cut a card and cut panels. There's all different shapes that match our punches that fit inside that punch out a window. However, they also layer perfectly with our punches, just like this scallop oval. The one in the, the Bigs XL die is just a hair bigger. So I'm taking some of our brushed gold cardstock, going to layer it only on that panel, make a sandwich out of our cutting pads and run this through the Big Shot machine. I'll be right back. Once we're done through the Big Shot machine, when I lift this up, voila, we have our little punched oval scallop. So we'll just take a little snail and adhere these greetings together. And there is our greeting layer. So now I'll put our panels together. And remember how we punched the oval out of here? No one's going to see it because it's going to be layered underneath everything else. Just stick that right onto it with snail. And our Be Merry greeting will go right on with some Stampin' Dimensionals. And that's our card. I have one more card to show you. This card was the original that I got the idea from, created with the Autumn Splendor stamp set using the exact same techniques. This was created by Melissa Elvis and she gave it to my friend Lisa Freeman and I absolutely fell in love with it. So thank you Melissa for this fabulous, fabulous design. Join us again!